Good morning. We are back for week two of the Bible study vlogging series and um, you guys are really excited about it. And so I went from thinking this might be, um, you know, a three week thing to uh, seeing a more long term vision, praying over a lot more long term vision for all of us. And so as you will notice, there is a title above meeting at the milk stool. Um, I am going to call our series call this community that for right now. Um, and I have been spending a lot of time thinking about what the appropriate name or symbol would be. And I chose a milking stool, which I happen to have one of. Um, so these milking stools are really unique because they're used to milk cows. Um, but as you'll notice, it has three legs and they're the best at balancing on unstable ground. Um, so metaphorically, there are three legs to our milking stool ministry. There's God, there's our Bible, and then there's our community. Um, and the three of these things together will provide a really stable ground upon which um, we can study and we can, you know, deal with hard things. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, I would love to see you guys taking pictures of your Bible study time of um, captioning them with things that you're learning and that are just uh, fruitful. And so please use the hashtag Milking Stool Ministries. I have started using it, um, but of course I love to see your guys' uh, interaction sort of with the milking stool. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. It's a lot already, um, and there's only more in the next two and a half minutes. Um, okay, so today I just want to talk about heart issues, sort of things that you're going to bring into Bible study that are, that are going to be challenging. Um, I guess for me, I always felt like there was a time limit and an expectation for this to happen every single day and that when I messed up, I wasn't worthy. And so then I would be like, fine, if I can't do it every day, I just won't do it at all. Um, totally bad attitude, total quitter's heart, um, but it's truthful. And um, our God is a God of grace and our God is um, a God of love and mercy and of pursual. And so... Uh, you're not going to Bible study every day perfectly, and that's allowed, and that's okay because uh, we're not perfect. And um, give yourself some grace. He's giving you grace. I'm giving you grace. We're all giving you grace. Give yourself some. Um, I realize that I think a lot about am I reading this right or wrong? Am I interpreting this right or wrong? The way that I'm applying this, is that right or wrong? And um, that that is not the way that God asks us to approach the Bible um, and that our faith is typically more of a gray area, a cloudy, foggy gray area um, than it is any kind of clear, you know, crystal clear understanding. And um, so that's allowed as well. So that said, all of that packed into a minute, um, I made us a little bit of homework. I've already done mine as a sample. Um, but I made a worksheet that has your Bible study starters on it. And I just would love you to fill it out and put it in the front of that trusty little journal that you've bought for Bible study, um, that has your hopes and goals on them, um, or your weights and burdens than your dreams and your goals. Um, so essentially your weights and burdens are the things that you bring to the table like I do. My worry about, is this enough time to read my Bible? Did I read it long enough? Should I read it longer? Is there a time expectation or limit? Um, am I doing this perfectly? Am I doing this every day? And then um, am I reading this right or wrong? Am I applying this right or wrong? What is my understanding? Um, for goals, just thinking about, you know, how often do you want to be reading your Bible? For me personally, it's five days a week. Um, but for those five days, I want to enjoy it. I don't want to dread it or um, sort of stuff it into some five minute window. I want to sit down and I want to engage. Um, consistency in journaling, uh, both my thoughts and verses, as well as my prayers. I'm not good at the prayer part, and I've heard it's awesome when you do. So I'm trying that out. Um, and then for hopes and dreams, I have some for the Bible study that we're doing here. I have some for, um, for my faith. I have some for my prayer life. So just fill that out. Um, pray over it. Think over it. They're all going to be different. That's totally okay. That's how our faiths are. Our faiths are all going to be different. The ways we do Bible study is all going to be different. The things that are effective or um, touching or, or annoying are all going to be different. And so 
this uh, sort of meetings at the milking stool, they're meant to be um, starting points or inspiration and then um, tailor it to what works for your faith. Like I said last week, Jason, not a note taker. He feels like it's blasphemy that I write in all my books. I, on the other hand, am a major note taker. Can't focus without it. Um, so it's allowed. Don't worry, it's allowed. Um, so there's your homework for the week. And then I just wanted to share a verse with you in closing. Um, it's from Psalm 51. I would um, just encourage you to read Psalm 51 this week. If you read it once or read it seven times, just read it, try it out. Um, but Psalm 51.10 says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Um, create in all of us a pure heart this week, right? Like, let's, let's let that be our prayer. Um, let's let that be our focus for the week. And then um, we will be here and back again next week um, talking about sort of application and, and the Bible study we're going to start. Woo! Um, okay, I'm praying for you guys. Comments below, you know how it goes, email, whatever, um, whatever you're comfortable with. And um, hashtag milking stool ministries. Okay?